Jesus had gathered in the upper room with his disciples to celebrate the Passover meal. In Jewish tradition, preparation for this meal is meant to, in, uh, to usher in the peace and holy time of Sabbath keeping with the lighting of candles. So I want us tonight to remember our Jewish ancestors as we bring the light and warmth to a world that sometimes feels very dark and cold. Blessed are you, Adonai, King of the universe, who was sanctif has sanctified us by commanding us to light the Sabbath candles. This meal is a reminder of the promises made to us in the sacrament of communion, that all belong to God, that God's love for us is stronger than death, and that one day, we will all be fed. Our scripture tonight is from Matthew 26, continuing from the children's Bible. We heard part of this story <clears throat> on Palm Sunday. Listen for the word of God. Judas, one of Jesus's friends, had a bad idea. He knew that the leaders were angry with Jesus. He knew they wanted to catch Jesus. Now Judas wanted money more than anything, so he told the leaders that he would show them where Jesus was if they would pay him some money. They paid him 30 pieces of silver. One night, Jesus and his friends were eating supper together one of you is planning to do something bad to me, Jesus said. Who is it, said John. Jesus said, it is the one I give bread to. Then he gave a piece of bread to Judas. Go on, Jesus told him. Do what you are planning to do. Judas got up and he left. Only Judas and Jesus knew what Judas's bad idea was. Then Jesus gave thanks and broke some bread and he shared it with his friends. Next, he took a cup of wine and gave thanks. He shared this with his friends too. Whenever you eat the bread and drink the wine, remember me, he said. And then Jesus said, I will not be with you much longer. I have to leave, but do not worry. Do not be afraid. I will come back. You are my friends. Love each other as I have loved you. Here ends the reading of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Let us pray as we prepare to take bread and cup. Holy God, your last meal was an ordinary meal, simple bread and juice, nothing fancy. And yet it was holy. It was holy because all were welcomed at your table, even the one who would betray you. And you were there with them. As we share bread in a very unconventional way tonight, this is still true. All are welcome here. Even we who betray you and sin against you. And you are here with us. As this bread and cup are shared, even shared virtually, may your love and grace be shared as well. 
Let us prepare our hearts for communion. Sustaining God, we thank you for the grain of the field and the fruit of the vine. You sustain the earth with sun and rain, and you sustain our lives with the harvest the earth supplies. We taste the goodness of your sustaining love in our lives. Help us to celebrate your abiding presence with us. Eternal God, we give thanks that you not only care for physical needs, you also provide for our spiritual well-being. For the gift of your Son and his redeeming work, we give you thanks. For your grace and mercy that has changed our lives, we give you thanks. Through your love for us in Jesus, we know love for one another. Give us hearts that will seek and serve those in need, those who are hurting and hopeless, who need to be reassured of your unfailing love. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and cup and this fellowship of believers. Though we may be in separate places, Lord, we pray that by sharing this bread and cup, we will be one body in Christ and support each other in these difficult days. As we pray, pray proclaim the hope of your unfailing love. Hear us, Lord, as we join our voices in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. On the night of his arrest, Jesus took bread, common bread. He gave thanks and he broke it, saying, This is my body, broken for you. Do this and remember me. He also took the cup. And giving thanks to God, he poured it, saying, This is my body. This is my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Drink all of you of it. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. These are the gifts of God for the people of God.
me in prayer. Gracious God, we have gathered around this meal that shows us both brokenness and healing, heartbreak as well as hope. May the bread that we've shared strengthen us to serve others, and may the cup that has been poured out for us remind us that we are called to empty ourselves on behalf of others. Whatever tables that we have gathered around this night, Lord, whatever bread or drink we have had. Help us to seek your blessing for the days ahead of us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. It is a tradition that on Maundy Thursday, we veil the communion space, and I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom. Let us offer blessing to ourselves and others. Christ be within us. Christ be above us. Christ be below us. No, nope. Christ be before us. Christ be behind us. Christ be beside us, on our left and on our right. Christ be within us. On this night, might we remember Christ his commandment, his suffering, his dying, as we prepare to celebrate his rising again. Amen.